Detroit then 313. We're back. Stephen Will talking that Detroit Lions football before we get started. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget the bell icon so you don't miss any of our new content. Steve, lay it on the people, man. We're talking Super Bowl. Flat out. We're talking <laughs> Super Bowl. It is the end of May. We'll call it the end of May. We're, we're, we got Super Bowl on our mind. I'm pretty hyped up today. I've had a good day. Woke up early, hung out with my wife a little bit, hit the gym, get on here. I'm talking some football. There's no one who's having a better day than me. I'm just going to say that. So now I got Super Bowl on my mind. And this is all coming from a, I don't know, it wasn't an interview. I think it was just RG3, Robert Griffin the Third's podcast, correct? Just him talking? Yeah. Yep. So give the people some context. Well, what are, what are we talking here when it comes to RG3 and Detroit Lions Super Bowl? Tie it together. So listen, so RG3 got on his podcast, and I I, I don't want to make it like I watched this podcast because I did not. No shade, RG3. I'm just, uh, you don't talk about just the Lions, and that's what we do here most of the time. We're talking about the Detroit Lions and watching Detroit Lions content, but uh, he got on there and he mentioned the Detroit Lions and he was talking about how basically the Detroit Lions are set to come back and win the Super Bowl. This is a team who the core group is not satisfied with just the taste of success. They are coming back to win a Super Bowl. And that was down to Brad Holmes, Dan Campbell, Ben Johnson. He even talked about Ben Johnson and listen how he came back because he's not satisfied. He's got unfinished business. He talked about how the front office and uh, Brad Holmes decided that we need to pay these guys so they could not be focusing on getting paid. They could be focusing on taking care of their business, which is winning a Super Bowl, bringing a Super Bowl to Detroit, bringing that parade down Woodward Avenue. Can't wait for it, Steve. I'm with you 100 um, percent. It's got me excited, man. It's got me excited. So that leads me to this question for you, Steve. Do you feel like going into this 24, 2024 season? It is Super Bowl or bust for the Detroit Lions. I don't like I don't like the word bust because my motto is I'm kind of 50 50 on this. My motto is this is a professional organization. This is a professional sport. At the beginning of every year, every single team has the same goal. It's to win the Super Bowl. So if you don't win the Super Bowl, did you have a failure of a season? That's the question. Mm -hmm. Now, in my opinion, a diehard fan, that is the goal to win the Super Bowl. If you don't win it. Is it a failed season? I, I, I don't know because what, it's a tough question because mm-hmm. I don't like the word bust, but you have to win a championship. That's why you play the game. This isn't for shits and giggles. Like this is a business. Like if you're not making it, if you're not bringing me a Super Bowl title, like I have to make some changes. Like, I mean, you it, can it, win a divisional championship. You can win a divisional championship. That's great. Are you having a parade at the end of the year? Cause that's no, what I want. No, I want a parade. <laughs> <laughs> I want a parade. I want to see the Lombardi trophy in a mm-hmm. Detroit Lions player hand. Now I saw it at the draft behind behind glass. Yeah. I, I need to be there for that parade. I need to see Jared Goff holding the trophy, Dan Campbell, yeah. St. Brown, Penn A. Sewell. I need to see those guys holding that trophy. I can be entertained during a football season, but if you don't win, that's the end of story. Like you have to win. I don't want to call it a bust because that's a that's a tough word. Hey, listen, listen, I, I got to stop this right now because here at Detroit Den 313, there is only one person here that gives political answers. I need an answer. Is it a bust if we do not win the Super Bowl? Yes or no? This, I'll, year, I'll, yeah. this year, yes, you're set up. You got close. You got you like should have been in the Super Bowl last year. You should have like been going against the Kansas City Chiefs, who you already beat in week one on their home field while they were celebrating a Super Bowl. It's our turn now. To get to the Super Bowl, it's hard. Just because we got there last year doesn't mean God's going to grant us the gift of getting close again. Like We have to still show up, put in the work, win 17. We have to win the majority of 17 games to get into the playoffs, preferably through home field. I don't Mm want to go on the road in the playoffs anymore. I want all three games or maybe even just two games if we get that one seed at home. I want all roads leading through Detroit. If you want to make it to the Super Bowl, you have to come through the Detroit Lions. So yeah, I guess I will say it. it's Super Bowl or bust. Now, yeah, but, give it to us. But am I am I gonna blow die. up? <laughs> <laughs> am I gonna blow up this roster if it doesn't happen? No, but obviously you have to make some changes because we didn't get it done. So it, it's hard to get back. Um, yep. Look at the San Francisco 49ers. They've been to the Super Bowl what twice in the last five or five or six years, and they lost both times to Kansas City. Like it is hard to get there. It's even harder to win. Yeah, Steve, I agree with you, man. I agree with you. Uh, Thanks for laying it out there and stop being shy, man. And real quick, can I say something else? Yeah. They say that the Stanley Cup is the most coveted trophy in all of sports. Mm -hmm. I have to 1,000% disagree. The Lombardi Trophy is the hardest trophy to win. In every other sport, NBA, baseball, basketball, or um, hockey, it's best of five or best of seven. Mm -hmm. You get get that many chances. In the NFL – it's winter. You're going home. You're going home. It's kind of like yeah. the NCAA tournament. 
only not as long. Yeah, you, you got it right. You, you get one game to win. You got to move on. Play the yeah. an opponent the next week. It's not like baseball where uh, we lost this game, but you know we, we still got possibly six other chances to 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 move on. You you show up in the NFL on a Saturday or Sunday, it's one shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I like that you talked about we need to come out to a fast start, man. And, and you talked about us as far as uh, home field advantage. Um, RG3 mentioned one other thing that, uh, well, he mentioned a lot more other things, but one other thing that's kind of stood out for me, the Detroit Lions only play three games outside this season as far as their regular season. So I think it would behoove them. They're, it's not like we're not a team that can't go out. We're, we're from Michigan. We know what the cold feels like, but we play our home games in a dome. So why not continue to play in the dome where our team is used to playing and uh, get that home field advantage? Because there's, there's a potential that uh we stay inside for this for the most of this season man Super Bowls I, in new orleans too that's what that's i'm saying so, hey man like it could be listen three games outside all year home field advantage and then go play that super bowl indoors man so um that could be fun man that could be fun i i, I like that a lot man but uh staying on this thing we're, we're a super bowl or bust for me um i agree with you steve i say for me it is super bowl or bust i remember last year we got on here um before the season and we said this it is home playoff game right or bust right that's what we said last year really we said make the playoffs or bust but we wanted that home playoff game we got it that was awesome so i think you got to keep on reaching higher and higher so I, I i agree nfc championship game a half away from going to the super bowl you can't lower the standard the following season and say hey uh that was a, a freak that freak accident no it, it was us playing great football um getting hot at the right time our players peaking at the right time um and and, and having some success and i think that we can do it again i believe our team is better right i believe that we're marrying what brad holmes talks about depth at every position so i don't think there's any reason why we can't make the super bowl but it is 100 percent, and i'm gonna piggyback you tremendously difficult to get back and there's a lot of factors that go into making a super bowl um players staying healthy um peaking at the right time um so that said if we don't get back we'll have to sit down and evaluate what happened did we have people banged up you know uh did the ball just not bounce our way in certain situations um did other teams get hot like you could be in a you know a situation where you win 12 games but you know other teams are winning 13 14 games which i've seen in other seasons so um we would have to evaluate why we weren't in that super bowl but to give a flat out answer if this team is healthy and we're not in that super bowl i will be disappointed right we now, and I'm excited to even be saying it, Steve. Don't it feel good? Like going yeah, just into a few the, years yeah, ago, yeah. we were like, God, I hope we win five games yeah, this year, like, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously, man, it feels good. And this thing is growing. So last year we were saying, it feels good to say that we should be a playoff team. It's if we don't get a playoff game, then it's a bust season. That felt good. Now it feels great to say, hey, we are a Super Bowl contender, and we got better. So now. Let's go ahead and win this thing. We signed our guys, right? We got them locked in, our main core group of guys. Uh, we know they're going to be here for the next at least handful of years. Let's go out and bring home that Lombardi trophy, man. Let's do it. Why not? Yeah, why not, man? Why on not? paper, on paper, the Detroit Lions have gotten better at every single position. Mm -hmm. and, like defensively, DJ Reader, revamp secondary. Like we've added starters. Not just guys who can come in and add depth because we've added that as well, but we added some guys who are going to come in and be playing. DJ Reader, uh, Terry on Arnold, Ennis Rakestraw. Like those guys are getting on the field. Offensive line upgrade: Kevin Zeitler over Jonah Jackson. No shades, just is what it is. It's facts. Yeah. Um, a guy that's going to be on the field every yeah. week. We didn't add a running back. We didn't add a flashy wide receiver. You know, we are still si uh, high on Isaiah Williams coming into uh, training camp as an mm -hmm. undrafted free agent. But uh, our offense is what it is. The question is yeah. going to be the defense, like we keep saying over and over and over. We want to show up on Sundays and say the Detroit Lions have a 90% chance of winning this game today. Yeah. They are favored in, I think, 14 out of 17 games on the schedule, and that doesn't mean shit. You still got to show up and play. Trust me, I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm a gambler. I know odds don't mean anything. Anything yeah. can happen. There's a reason it's called any given Sunday. You just never know. Yeah. The Detroit Lions have been prepared. That's due to Dan Campbell. This team's going to show up prepared. We don't. I don't think we've ever been out coached when it comes to Dan Campbell. Like he 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 has the guys. He has the guys ready, 
Now some things can happen and some adjustments can be made. You know, the third quarter, we could talk about some issues, but altogether, Dan Campbell has this team ready. He has them yeah, bought he in. Does. He has them ready to play football. I'm ready. I'm ready for the season. Well, it, it's the end of May and I just need football to get here. I'm dying. Yeah, me, me too, man. Me too. A hundred percent. So um, guys, put it in the comments, man. Do you believe going into this 2024 season, the Detroit Lions are a Super Bowl or bus team? Will you be OK if this team does not win the Super Bowl? I cannot wait to see how people feel, because here at Detroit in 313, we want that Lombardi trophy. Um, I can go ahead and say. Um, no matter what, we we can go ahead and say if you have a schedule to work, uh, we won't be there because <laughs> if there's a parade, <laughs> we will be at the parade. <laughs> yeah, I know we got some some of our bosses that watch this show. I'm, <laughs> hey, full disclosure: if yeah. if there's a day in February and the and we can't get the day off, just know that we're not going to be there. Okay, yeah, probably for like this. <laughs> yeah, probably for like the next two or three days as well. Like this is going to be like a full on vacation. <laughs> um. Real quick, also, Robert Griffin III at the end of this, and I'm going to retweet this video if you guys want to check that out on Twitter for a little bit more context. Um, at the end of the video, he used a phrase, same old Lions. This is not the same old Lions of yesteryear, I think is yeah. what he said. Yeah. Is SOL dead? I'm glad you said that, man. And I, I kind of had that in my back pocket to talk about later, but let's let's lay it on the table, man. Uh, I don't believe that same old Lions is dead. And before we get into a negative, I think it's a positive thing. I think that it can be beheaded this season, right? I think that we we hurt that thing bad last season. We really hurt that thing because going into last season, I remember even uh, because guys, we're a year into this thing, right? I remember starting off this thing, seeing some of the comments like, oh, you guys are slappies, oh, you guys are, and then people from other, the other cities, Chicago, and they would get into our, our chat thread and be saying, hey, man, you guys suck. You guys had one good year, and now you guys think you're this or that or whatever. We don't see that too much of that anymore. And I think that if we come out and take care of business this year, Super Bowl or not, if we just have success, NFC Championship game, uh, playoff wins again, I think that we can go ahead and uh, put that thing to bed. How do you feel about it? SOL, I don't think we'll ever be dead, William. Mm. It's dead here. Wrong. It's dead here. Oh, 100%. But, but to me, SOL, same old Lions, is a mindset. You're just always going to have fans that are so used to losing because that's what the Detroit Lions have done for 99% of my life is lost mm. with very, mm. very small, short glimpses of possibilities with yeah. Calvin Johnson, Matthew Stafford, possibilities but sol there are so many people that are just locked into losing they just have a, a losing mindset that they're just not used to winning football and i'm not trying to be mean they look for the smallest thing to revert to i guess it's just human nature for most people but i don't know i look at a football team that brought in dan campbell brad holmes and a lot of people had questions like oh man i don't backup gm like an assistant gm from the rams a, ooh, a guy that was an interim coach I, I don't know like people had questions we were one quarter away from going to a Super Bowl last year. If they haven't made you believers yet with having the best draft classes, phenomenal um, signings and free agency, if they haven't got you to bought in yet, I, I don't know if you ever will be able to buy in. Uh, I think it's just it, it's SOL is a mindset to me. You're either out of it or you're not. That's just that's just the way I feel. I think when you hoist that Lombardi trophy. Then you buy it. Ah, well, they could have won the Super Bowl by ten points instead of three. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't even. <laughs> I don't even know what I'll say to those people, man. I'll probably just uh, just continue on my celebration. Uh, I'll pray for you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, real quick, I have to call out RG three about something, William. Yeah, minor. I already know where you're going. Re real Take minor, it. <laughs> and it's not technically Robert Griffin's fault. And I know he's yeah. not going to watch the show, but if someone sends this to him, when you mentioned Amon Rasate Brown in this little clip. There was a graphic that slid across, and it was supposed to be a picture of Amon Rasay Brown. It was not Amon Rasay Brown that you put up. It was uh, Antoine Green, I believe. Antoine Green, yeah, yeah it was okay. Antoine Green. <laughs> so RG3, if you happen to catch this, you might want to have a little chit-chat with whoever does your video editing because uh, as the very first thing I noticed, like, who's this? It's not Amon yeah, Rasay Brown. Yeah, 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 yeah for <laughs> so sure. So just a quick little, little fix it for you, RG3. Uh, if you want to come on the podcast, we could discuss that with you. But, guys, <laughs> we laid it out. Super Bowl or bust is SOL dead. Leave it in the comments. Answer the questions. We'll talk about it. Hit that like button. If you're new here, stick around, subscribe. We'll be back later with another show. Peace.